Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at inference points and explain what they are and how they can help you in creating accurate models using different tools. So you can see from our screen, we are in a new workspace as evidenced by the girl on the phone, and we're going to delete her. Now, for this example, I'm going to draw a rectangle, but instead of using the rectangle tool, I'm going to use my line tool. And the, this can be helpful because it's easier to orient my shape relative to a certain axis, and it also allows me to make sure I get my dimensions going in the correct direction. So let's say I want to draw a rectangle that is 27 inches by 35 inches, and I want my 27 inches running parallel with the green axis. So I'm going to just click out here and start dragging. So I'm parallel with the green axis as indicated by the pop-up and the fact that my line is green. I'm going to make it 27 inches in this direction. Now I want to go 35 inches on the red axis. So I drag parallel with the red axis, 35, and enter. Now instead of starting on the green axis and typing in 27 inches, which I could do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my cursor over after starting this line, and I'm going to hover on the point at the end of my original line. And now as I slide back, you can see this red dotted line appearing. At this point right here, you can see from the green of the line I'm drawing and the red dotted line that my line is in line with the endpoint of my original piece. So if I click here to place the line, now when I draw my final line across, you can see I'm on the red axis and it lines up with my original endpoint. And this gives me a rectangle with the dimensions that I want. Now another way that we can use inference points would be drawing up from here. So let's say I wanted to draw a tri equal triangles on both ends of this rectangle. The easiest way to do this would be to find my midpoint, and you can see the light, the dot turns blue, and draw up on the blue axis, and I can constrain to the blue axis using the up arrow, okay? And I'm gonna draw up 13 inches. If I can type correctly, 13 and enter. And then from this point, I'm going to draw down to the corners of my rectangle. And now I can erase this center line. And I've got my triangle on the end. Now I want to draw the same rect or the same triangle on this end of my rectangle. So I'm going to repeat the process. Find my midpoint. And as I draw up, I could type in 13 and push enter, or I can hover over the end point of my original triangle and as I draw back you can see the red dotted line appears which tells me that I'm in line with that top point and now I can click and as I draw my triangle just like I did originally these points are perfectly in line with each other and the evidence of that is that when I draw this line the line is red indicating it is parallel with the red axis so that is one way to use inference points. Another would be if I wanted to use a guideline in this model and I need to draw it from this bottom edge up on this angled face. SketchUp wants to snap and function parallel to the axes whenever possible. So if I grab my tape measure tool, which I have, and I click on this edge and start dragging it, it wants to snap to my blue axis. However, I want it to be on this face. So what I can do is hover over this edge, and then as I drag up, you can see how the edge I hovered over and the line for my tape measure tool are both pink. What that tells me is that they are parallel with each other. And that would, by default, put my measuring line, my reference line, on the face of this piece. So now I'm going to type in three inches and press enter. 
So these are a couple of ways that you can use inference points. Another way to do it would be if I needed to draw another object parallel in the same plane as this top line here. What I can do is hover over an endpoint, and as I drag my mouse out, you can see the green inference line and the indication from the pop-up that says from point. Now if I click and start drawing my line, I can draw knowing that my starting point is in line on the green axis with my original starting point back here. I can draw this line on the red axis and if I want to make it the same length as my original line, I hover over the endpoint and come back and it snaps to this inference line as indicated by the from point pop-up. And now I can click and this line that I've just drawn is parallel and the same size as my original line over here and it's also in the same plane. It's the same elevation up from the base of the triangle. These are a couple of ways that you can use inference points to make your drawings easier and more accurate.